Hello? Hello? Hi, this Hi. is Alicia with Crown Trucking. How are you doing today? I am fine, thank you. How are you today? Good. All right. I just got your voicemail, so I wanted to give you a call back. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, All right, so a friend of mine from a Facebook group uh, sent me the YouTube video uh, that I checked out. Uh, and I'm, I'm like, hmm, it's got to be some strings tied to that. But um, I was curious. Uh, I, I was curious to know a little bit more about what you guys got to offer. And I'm also taking voice notes so I can put this so I can come back to my reference on this. OK. All right. Uh, well, what's what's the strings attached to that two thousand a week? I mean, is that is that based on my experience? Uh, what like like bonus attachments to it or or what? Uh, no, it's a, a $2,000 minimum per week, mm -hmm. as long as you are available all week and, you know, don't turn down any load offers or, um, you know, have to be unavailable for some reason. So oh, okay. as long as you're available. Um, now, now I, I see are you located over in Cleveland. Yeah, I'm out of, I'm out of Ohio, but. Okay. You you say I gotta be available. So would that be avail now let me ask you this. Um would that be like available like twenty four seven? Like say for example, uh I I didn't get a call all day and then all of a sudden I get a call at maybe like twelve o'clock midnight and you know, I'm I'm sleeping. I happen to turn it down because I've been up all day. Would would that be considered a turn down? Um, no, cause we wouldn't call you to dispatch you basically at, at midnight. Um, the way that works is what that means is, so let's just say if you had a doctor's appointment on Monday, okay. um, that means you were unavailable to work on Monday. So you're not going to get the minimum for that week because you weren't available on Monday. Now, you can still run, of course. You know, if you run something from Tuesday to Friday or Tuesday to Saturday, mm -hmm. and you'll make whatever, you know, you would normally make on that particular run, you just wouldn't be eligible for the minimum because oh, you okay. had that that time where you weren't available. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, I got about seven years of uh, of driving experience within the last seven years. So coming in, uh, coming in, how how much would I how how much would I get uh, per mile for my? Experience? We don't pay by mileage. We pay based on percentage. Oh, okay. So okay, starting off, you'd be at um, twenty nine percent. Okay, 20... of that total gross revenue. Oh, okay. That's now that now as as a company driver, or is this? Or is this lease op? As if I'm if I'm not missing anything. As a company driver. Oh, okay. Twenty nine percent. Oh, so that means I can like run anywhere, like like maybe like three full loads per day, and be awful like the entire. Well, let me ask you this: uh, What type of lanes that you guys have available, and what my home time would be looking like? I'm out. Of course, I'm out of Ohio. Right. So with you being up in that area, you know, you are not in our um, what we call our regular hiring area, oh, okay. uh, which is within like a 100 mile radius of our terminal down here in, in Batesville, Indiana. So um, with, so that with you being I so close, you'd I probably see the house a little more, but um, you'd be considered... Are uh, a long haul driver, right. yeah. So it'd be you know fourteen to to twenty one days possibly. Okay, okay, okay. But would I would I still be considered for that two thousand dollar minimum? Yeah. Even over the road. Correct. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. So being that I'm over the road, y'all over in Indiana, that state over, not a problem. Um. Would I be able to take the truck home? Yeah, when you go home, 
mm-hmm. you would be able to, um, you know, we'd have to just look at, you know, exactly where you're at. Um, you would just have to find basically a safe place to park um, when you are, you know, on your home time. I, I, I have all of that. I, I will have all of that. All right. So how much driving? Okay. Well, of course, like I said, I got seven. Um, but how? what's what's the minimum driving experience that you got? Because the, you know, the driver from my group, he got like six months. So what's what's the least amount of experience that you uh, that you guys require? Um, to not have to go through a training program one year. Oh, OK. OK. All right. Now, let me ask. Oh, let me ask you this. Since you mentioned the training program. So you guys do offer a training program for how about for training program for like students that's coming out of uh that's coming out of that's coming out of school speeding not is that what you said no 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 Sorry. what about students that's coming out of school oh, students yes ma'am. students yes ma'am okay um so students um basically you know, we can take students that are fresh out of school. They would just have to go through our finishing program. Um, however, for that particular board, um, you would, you know, we we don't accept students for that particular board. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, we, we can, but they would just be, uh, you know, they, they wouldn't have that home time um, like some of the other students would be. They'd have to just be okay with, you know, Maybe only going home like halfway through the training. Okay. Okay. So. Awesome. Awesome. So, like, say, you know, a driver, they just get they, you know, they just got their license from, mm-hmm. say, like the Swift Academy or something like that, and they decide to come over to you guys, and they they just pretty much had to agree just to be out with the with the trainer for as long as they need to get before they get upgraded, pretty much, right? Um, well, the way that our finishing program works is we have multiple driver trainers, uh, and we like to put students with a different driver trainer, um, pretty much almost each week. Uh, that way they can get the best experience of the different type of loads, um, that they'll see with those different driver trainers, because most of them are on dedicated routes. So, um, and, you know, they just get to learn from different people as well so okay. um so most of our drivers you know that are in our hiring area going through the finishing program they can be home um you know weekly they're all home weekly mm-hmm. um and then just depending on that particular run that they're doing that week some of them may even be home daily so Ooh. okay i'll definitely pass that along all right but like uh, i said that's for drivers that are within our hiring our normal hiring area I can commute back and forth each day. So. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, all right. So for me, uh, if I if I decide to jump on uh, Indiana across the state line, I would I would be looking at uh, like home every other week, like every, you know, t- about two weeks out, and then two days. Would that two days be a full two days home or just my thirty four? It just depends. Um, as far as well, so are, are you talking? Are we going back to specialized dispatch board, like for you? Yeah, for me, for me, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, you would get the you you'd get the probably with you not being home um, and having that every fourteen to twenty one days. Um, then you would see more than likely more than that 34 hour restart you know you'd see at least two days probably if not three okay okay what kind of now what kind of equipment that you have and what are they governing at um we have a variety basically we we have a lot of volvo trucks that are manuals um and oh whoa uh, whoa whoa you say you wait wait now you say manuals, as in yes. stick shifts. Correct. Ten speeds. Correct. Okay, now, okay, not 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 too many people that I have called and did my research on offering manuals. How is 
it possible that you guys are still offering manuals? What's what's up? What am I missing here? What two thousand dollars a week, a Volvo, and a manual? Come on, man, you you sound too good to be true right about now. So we've always bought uh, Volvos. We buy them brand new, maintain them throughout their entire life. And that's just our president's preference is, you know, he wanted to um, basically just keep the manuals as long as possible. Um, But, you know, so like I said, we've primarily always been buying those Volvos. The last couple of years, we have been purchasing some um, Peterbilt some um, um, Kenworths and, you know, just basically on availability with, you know, everything that's going on in the industry right now, it's been very hard to get trucks. So um, most of the newer trucks that we are getting are automatics and we're in the process of switching over to a new trade cycle for the trucks where, uh, you know, everything will have 650,000 miles or less on it, but it's just going to probably take another year or so, um, you know, just depending on how soon we can get trucks in, basically. So. Awesome. Awesome. And and I, I, I forgot to mention uh, the percentage, which is how much again? 20, 29% of the load? Yes, that's um, correct. All right. What about uh what what about the driver facing cameras? Do you do you guys have that in your trucks? We don't have any that face the driver. Okay, cool. Ours are facing um, you know, forward and then down the side of the trailer. Okay, awesome. Now for for me coming out of Ohio, I of course I would be over the road. Would I be would I be forced to go up into the northeast? And if so, is there any extra pay to go up in the Northeast? On that particular board, you would have to be okay with, um, you know, the possibility of New York City or like a New Jersey um, route on that particular um, specialized dispatch board. Mm -hmm. And uh, those routes do pay more. It's like built into the rate. Um, So they're rated a little higher for going in those areas. Um, But that's, like I said, going to be built into that rate of that overhaul, overall line haul. So um, you'll still have that $2,000 minimum. It's not like you're going to get anything um, that you would see on top of, you know, like a line item ided in or anything. So it's going to be built into that rate. Awesome. Awesome. Is there a sign on bonus? No, we do not have a sign on bonus. Okay. All right. So cool. All right. Um, well, listen, thank you very much. I definitely appreciate the time and the information is freaking awesome. So I am definitely going to take this back to my group and share it with them. And I'm going to keep this in my back pocket as well, because the two thousand dollar minimum and the and the twenty nine percent and the manual is is like all pluses for me so far so um i do have one i I guess i got like one very last question um for uh for you guys that don't offer a sign-on bonus I, i know one of the guys in my group always wanted wanted to know uh what's your turnover rate you know, for for a company that's not offering a sign-on bonus, I'm assuming your turnover rate is pretty low, right? Um, our turnover was thirty percent last year. See, so, that, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I said, you guys, you guys got a lot of pluses going for you right now. And like I said, the 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 YouTube video that was sent to me is very very interesting so thank you very much i really 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 appreciate the time all right no problem thank you ma'am and if you're you know want any more information like i said you can just visit our website Mm crumbtrucking.com and that's also where you would be able to fill out an application awesome thank you ma'am all right no problem you have a good rest of your day you too now all right thank you
and there you have it. There you have it. A lot of, hey, 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 a lot of pluses with this company. You, you want to drive a manual? They got it. You want percentage instead of CPM? They got it. You want, but you're going to have to be subjected to going up into the Northeast. So if you're good with the Northeast, they got it. $2,000, a $2,000 minimum a week. They got it. The only thing with that is you got to be available. You got to be available. You, they're going to give you some runs to run, but you got to be available. So let's say, for example, they call you up on a Monday and you'd be like, oh, I got a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment. Then you're going to lose out on that on that two thousand dollar minimum. But still, twenty nine percent of the load is not bad considering. Uh, unfortunately, for my area, they don't have uh, they, they don't have the, you know, the, the home weekly, daily or whatever. But. You will be home. You're only going to be out for like 14, 20, 14 days. I know a lot of you guys is not a fan of being out you know, for 14 or 21 days or anything like that. But still, sounds like a good company. I mean, they got, I mean, what they got to offer so far for you guys, I mean, it's something to really, really think about, especially if you still, if you're one of them drivers that just want to drive a manual and not an automatic, they got it. They got it. And 29% of the load. Make sure you guys give Crumb a call if y'all interested in, in what they got to offer. Let me know what you guys think of the phone call. Let me know what you guys think of the call. What do you guys think? Was it a good call, bad call? Uh, if any of you guys work or drive or have driven for Crumb, let me know in the comments below on how the company has treated you. All right. Shout out to my subscriber that wanted to get the information on this company. And if you guys want any other companies that y'all want, go ahead and put the suggestion in. Also, it would be nice, would be nice if you guys get me a cup of coffee. I'm just saying you don't have to, but it would be nice. All right. You guys take it easy and I will come back with another one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that thank you button if this brings you value.